My name is Amy Pyatt, and I am the pastor at First Christian Church here in Portland, Oregon. We have been doing Baron Hymns for almost a year now. My first experience with this type of an event was last summer at uh, Wild Goose, and it was my favorite thing that I did. Just the worshipful, soulful sharing that take place spontaneously was very holy for me. Music has always been a way that I have connected with people, connected with God. I, I just saw how it freed up people almost immediately when, when music started to be together. We didn't know each other, but we knew these songs. The beer was sort of an afterthought for me, although when I came here to First Christian, of course, uh, it became more of an issue because beer and church don't usually go together. We had a lot of dialogue about why do you need to do this? Why can't you just have a hymn sing? How do we know that people won't get drunk and trash the place? Those kinds of things. And I said, well, first of all, if we say we're going to have a hymn sing, who's going to show up? I think about three old ladies in the conversation said, well, I might come. And I said, that's great, but you come anyway. If we're doing this uh, to sort of open our doors to new folks and to show them that we're being open to church in new ways, we probably have to actually show them that. We use hymns for a number of reasons, one of which is because uh, I think there's a real longing in our, in our world today to feel connected to something bigger than ourselves. And sharing those old songs that so many of us have heard so many times, there is an immediate shared experience that creates a bond. Beer and Hymns allows people to simultaneously question the hymns and dive into them. If I'm able to put my voice out there or be imperfect in my delivery of these songs or just be foolish, it seems to give somebody else the sense that they don't have to try so hard. The crazier moves we make, the more that people feel like, oh, I can snap my fingers, or if they're falling on the floor, I can do this, you know? And, and to, to be fair, and most, most people that would want to try to do this in their own communities, I'd take it to an extreme level, what I, what I would suggest, <laughs> more than what I would suggest most people trying. And we have this limit of two drinks per person that has always been very respected. It's never even been challenged. We've never had anybody abuse alcohol or get out of control in any way. And every time I go, it's fun. And I'm glad I'm there. Beer and Hymns is like a gateway to those of us that didn't grow up with it and don't necessarily agree with all of the theology but want to reconcile it in some way. It's almost like a domino effect that not everybody is hit by those dominoes and goes down at the same time but one person is taking a risk and we are also saying it's safe to take a risk here and if enough people take that risk together then it draws like the domino it draws everybody in to stepping out. Okay.